Uh, this is bit bit of a bit of an odd game in the lineup, from what I understand. And this is the last. Uh, this is the last of like the three games I know the people who made it. I have a fourth one where like I know or I know of the artist for it and he's pretty good, but I don't really know the like um development of it. Um But uh this is kind of still kind of an odd one called Smoke It's Okay to Feel and I I don't know why the character's name Smoke. It's not a weed thing, but there you go. Um, from what I understood from watching the streams of it being made, was it was intended to be. Oh, let me let me update my. I never actually saved from my first one to update the the title at the top. Now I feel bad. Um, um, so from what I understood from watching the streams, this is kind of intended to be like a personal game. And what I mean by that is like, uh, like a personal experience kind of game, like a character driven thing. And you, you have a lot of opportunity to do whatever you want. Well, within, you know, video game reasons. But also kind of intended as just a way to um, um, like bring up and uh, kind of just come to terms with issues you might have. So I kind of debated about um, if I would actually play this game first before I streamed it, or if I would just stream it and how I would. I think what I'm going to do, I had considered not doing any kind of commentary, but I, I probably should. What I'm going to do instead is I'm just going to turn off the webcam. So I don't think I'm forced to like... And I'm not usually like forced to make any kind of expression or reaction or whatever, but sometimes knowing that you're on camera changes the way you do things. So anyway, uh, I don't want to. I don't want to push. I don't want to push the the feels aspect of it too much because it's still it's still got humor to it and still got other things going for it. But that's certainly there. And I don't know how much how much of it is there because I haven't played it again. Anyway, after a long day, Smoke the Bear likes to relax. He loves nothing more, nothing better than to sit back and enjoy his favorite icy beverage, Space Lager. However, when Smokey when Smoke finds out that I'm going to call him Smokey a lot, aren't I? When Smoke finds out that his fridge is empty, he realizes he's run out of space logger. Copyright. And must make a trip to the local liquor store. And thus the adventure of a lifetime begins. And thus the adventure about, it's about a lifetime, begins. Explore a picturesque hand-drawn mountain town. Interact with colorful cast of characters from Smoke's past. Maybe you'll find them all, or screw all that and just go straight home and drink up. Smoke. 
smoke. Screw that. Go straight home and drink. It's up to you. And that was that was one thing I heard. I tried. I I didn't want to hear listen to too much about like the game itself because I kind of just wanted to explore it. But that's one thing I heard was like some players will just go out. They'll just get. They'll just go grab space logger. They'll maybe find people, but they're like, nah, I, I don't wanna I don't wanna talk right now. I just wanna go home and relax with some space logger. And that's fair. And I think he mentioned that um he showed the game to his mom. He had his mom play it, and that's what she did. She just went out to town, got the beer like you were supposed to, and then she just said you know, fuck it. I don't want to talk to any of these people. I just want to go home. Not and not in a way of like I don't want to play this game or I don't want to or I just want to do something else, but like a I'm just not feeling it right now kind of thing. Yeah, that's fair, Red. That's fair. Like that's what I was I was contemplating too, as I mentioned, is just maybe playing it myself before doing this, but um, I'm not sure how well I could if it would be better for me to cast it being uh in the know or if it would be any good to people if I knew. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go in blind. And if you wanna play this game yourself before uh, you watch someone else, you can go ahead and uh, go download it and play it. It's totally fair. So I'm going to turn off my webcam just for this game. Uh, Windows is notifying me that uh, it doesn't want to run an unrecognized app. Uh, that's also fair, I'm sure. There's definitely nothing wrong with this executable. Huh. My, uh, my start and stop stream hotkey didn't want to work, I guess, because studio mode was on? I don't know. This game's quiet. Does this work? It's gonna stretch things out? Not really. Okay, fair enough. Let's also get rid of... Um... Where is it? Let's hide that guy real quick. Okay. I might actually need to turn this game up. This is an odd feeling. Time for another cold one. We got this. We got this super hot um, jiggle. This spastic jiggle animation that's on everything in this game, which I suppose is a really, really cheap way to animate things if you're in a crunch. Hang on. Did the game die on me? Let me... Let me... Well, that was quick. Bread. I had to... I had to restart stream just to get the capture to work.
Okay, I'm legitimately having an issue here. Oh, space. Okay, good. Good! So not a point and click as I had presumed it would be. No, it looks like a olive beef marker. It's got a good voice. We've got good voice acting here, actually. Uh, and also, so normally I don't like dithering anymore when I do art. When I do pixel art, because it looks really noisy and kind of bad, but it, I think it's actually what he wanted to do here. Because he doesn't normally do as much dithering, I don't think. But there's a lot of dither going on. The dithering's not bad. Well, the dithering's not bad because it's consistent, like, it's everywhere. If you get, like, just dithering on rocks, or just on grass or something, it can be, uh, really unsettling. This does look nice. Yes, stores the other way. Yes, stores the other way. It's a hospital. Going to Joe's. Swarm of bees! Can't go there right now. Hey, it's Joe. It's a staff room. Yeah, pallet's good. Hey, smoke. Six pack of space lager, right? You. Ah, voice. I'm trying. I'm still trying to think of what voice to give this guy, and I'm actually already started. Here you go. Here you go, champ. Thanks for stopping by. Now we got my space lager. Hope I don't run into nobody. Actually, I hope you're planning to drink that in the comfort of your own home. Oh no. I'll, I'll drink it right here. Don't... Roger that. Don't tell me what to do. Don't tell me what, tell to, me what to do. There we go. Take that. I'm not asking much for much smoke. Just some basic respect for the law. <laughs> I thought you knew better than that. Don't tell me what to do. Sure, I'm glad those bees cleared up, so I cannot go home with my space logger. That's a fish? That's a fish! Remember when we met all those years ago? It was pretty nice of you to let me go that day. Oh, I remember. I'll catch you right now. Get out of my face. Why would I be mean to the nice fish? Fish. He's a he's a nice fish. I guess neither of us have forgotten. Maybe it was a defining moment for both of us. Nick fish. Did I just eat the honey? Did I just eat the whole honeycomb? All the whole nest? That's what I'm asking. Snooze you lose. Couldn't control myself. Uh, no. Uh, I, I just couldn't control myself. Couldn't control myself. Not the bees. I regret all this. Dark. The test results are in smoke. It will be best for your health if you cut down on space logger. I don't give a damn. I think I'll think about it. 
I feel fine. Ooh. Ooh, this is a tough reaction. I really need this space logger. Like, you have, you have no idea. Space logger's important, man. Look, Doc. I'll think about it. Good to hear that, Smoke. I just want to see you take more care of yourself. I don't know why he got a southern accent, but he did. So we enter Lost Woods. Let's enter Lost Woods. Hi. It's Bigfoot. Do you believe in the Bigfoot? I want to believe. I always have. Uh, get out of my head. I always have. No, I want this. This answer is important. It's your belief that sustains me. I believe in you too, by the way. I'm glad Bigfoot believes I exist. It's important that Bigfoot believes in me. Always believe in your friends, folks. Oh, we'll deal with the... Okay, no. Yeah, you certainly did. I mean, even, I mean, uh, so as funny as it would be to just go home with your beer and ignore the game, I'm not the kind of person that can do that. I kind of want to see everything. I want to test the waters. It might, I might even do like a second playthrough of like, hey, what if I just did this instead? But I kind of feel like it's not going to be major differences. Oh, you missed... Did you miss the path to Lost Woods? Let's talk to... Let me talk to a tree first. Smoke! Oops. I know this tree. I should call her... Smoke in a W. It's time to let go. Feels like yesterday. Uh, smoke and water. That probably. Smoke and water is a good one. Is it time to let her go? What? Oh man. What if he's drinking because of her? Oh man. Oh man. That's... If that's the case, that's pretty big. Cause like... Saying I should call her would just... Make the situation potentially worse. Like, forgetting her is... Is the best... Guaranteed... Clean everything up option. Because I could still call her, and things could go things could go right, and then things could go really right. But if things don't go right, they just get dramatically worse. That's that's always how it is, isn't it? Gotta let her go. Got to let go. Oh, I can't interact with the tree anymore. Hello, lumberjack, bro. That tree do something to you? You were staring at it for ages. I wonder if you... Okay, so that situation might actually be interesting in a replay. Cause I wonder if you talk to the lumberjack just right, if he like chops it down or something.
Oh. Son. Hey, Dad, I can't really talk right now. Let's do lunch sometime. Oh, it, it's my son. This changes everything. I barely recognize you. Miss, miss Dad joke there. Said that last time. I'll be waiting. Uh... He's not showing up, but I'll be waiting anyway. He gone. He ain't coming back. And I'll be waiting anyway, probably. Hey, it's Buck! Hey, you catch the ball game last night? What game? I'm busy, Buck. <laughs> Hell of a game. Do I watch sports? Does smoke is smoke a sports watcher? Uh, probably not. Doesn't seem like a sports guy. You don't keep up the ball anymore, huh? Change smoke. You've changed. It's almost as if you're being controlled. Different entity. Oh, the X. But I, th I thought I said, okay, I need you to stop leaving those messages. I said, I said we need to let her go. We're gonna let her go. Smoke and water are no more. I will try my best. It's for the best smoke, my friend. Oof. Smoke's not doing too good, is he? Oh. Alright. This... This is a very lumpy thing. Yo, swole, fish, baby, new tree, honey, buck's happy, I guess, ring? Ranger doesn't like me. Believed in the foot. Swole smoke is the best one here. Wall smoke. Oh, huh. Did he not implement it? Turn. Oh gosh, now my now my webcam isn't working at all, which means I would have to restart friggin' OBS again. Uh. We're not gonna bother with it. We're gonna we're gonna do without. 
We're just we're just gonna do without. Do I have fake cam? I got fake cam. What's on fake cam? Uh no, we don't need that on fake cam right now. <laughs> that uh that was from when I was playing Dead Rising two. Slappy's pretty good. Uh, good game. It's got an excellent mood. Like, unironically good mood. Um. High marks for audio. Because, like, he had voice acting. Which is actually good. And not a people are willing to not a lot of people are willing to use their own voice, or like I guess it's not really that, but it's more like mm, Because it's weird now, because we have, so like there, you would, you would used to play like games made by like an eight year old or something, and they just use their voice for all the sound effects or whatever, and it'd be really cute. But now, especially with something like this, where normally you just use like BFX, B, BFXR? I think is what it's called. And so you end up with just just swamped with chiptune sound effects, which is fair. But Lumpy's pretty good with his voice. Not quite voice actor quality with like the way he's able to modulate it, but still good. It's effective. Like I I like the stuff Lumpy does. But it it was too low. Like even I had trouble hearing his voice sometimes. It's like not only was the audio level a little low, but like he would almost whisper the words in for the dialogue or the the word choices. And that didn't help any. So it's the the sound is good, but the mixing or the mastering that be like the mastering. I don't know. The the mastering wasn't. I'm gonna go with the word mastering. Graphics were great. They were effective, if not cheap. At least they were all there. Um, so odd thing with the theme. Um, is like. I can't say I don't get it. Because I kind of do. There was, there was another game that did something with the theme. Like this. Where like you're you're running out of personal space and so you're at the idea was you try to like stay away from people I believe that game's not on the queue but it was something I saw um, so I guess the theme here was like you're just trying to Because there's nothing mechanical that's forcing you to avoid open space or not. There's no, you have to go home or else bad things happen. It's just space.
I'm running out of space logger. Yeah, there is that. It's kind of cheaty, though. It's kind of cheaty. Uh, it's not exceptionally innovative because it's it's just an adventure game, and it's like it's just an adventure game. It's nothing really new, but what it is, like with what it does, with what it is, is very good and solid. Um. Oh, humor. Humor is an odd thing because it's it's. Um, Lumpy describes his humor as like weird, but or I guess his humor could be described as like odd but optimistic in this weird way. Um. But it's another instance of, like, I think he tried with humor more than, like, say, Frankie did. But it, at the same time, it's also kind of just intrinsic to him. And so it's kind of baked into the, baked into the game really well. I give, I give people really high marks, I've realized. Like, in general, like, maybe too much. That's the thing I keep realizing when I do LDs, is, like, I keep giving people, like, fours and fives, and at some point I have to be, like, no, maybe I should be more strict. And so, like, the last half of whatever I rate ends up being much lower. Of course, to be fair, the last half of what I rate is usually, um... Um, like user submitted things that aren't always good in general. I'm also, it is also fair to say that I'm more critical of things that don't come from a place I know. Because I'm, I'm, I'll be honest, I'm slightly biased towards like your game or Frankie's game or whatever because I genuinely like those people. So there, there's some bias there, not going to lie. Um, anyway, so fun is, fun is like the most subjective. Fun might actually be the most subjective category. Where like, I can't say it was really fun. It was certainly enjoyable. And I kind of want to go through again to see what all the other possible stuff that can happen. Like, what if I, what if I give different answers? What if I talk to the lumberjack before I talk, to, before I interact with the tree? Um, what if I just don't interact with anyone and go straight home? Uh, there was also. I, it may not be implemented, or I may have missed it, but there's an animation he made of, like, Lumpy, not Lumpy, uh, Smoke just laying down, and then the space logger just come, drops from the ceiling and lands on his stomach, and he just lays there. And then when he gets up, the space logger just, like, rockets off into space, which is pretty good. And he worked on that for a little while. So I'm kind of surprised that it's not... Like it wasn't the animation you get when he goes to bed with the beer. But, whatever. So like I wouldn't describe... I wouldn't describe this as a fun game. But an enjoyable game. And that's kind of a semantics thing. Yeah, it might be in the game. I may have missed it. Or maybe maybe it's what you get when you don't talk to anybody. I don't know. 
I'll probably play the game a couple more times off stream or something. So like, yeah, as a matter of semantics, I wouldn't describe the game as fun. It it is like it's kind of a semantics thing, like I said, and I don't think the fun as category matters or like any individual category matters as much as the overall category. I think the overall category is what matters and I I don't actually recall how the system works for ratings. I think the the system I think the system is based off overall rating. So like quote unquote first place is just the top rated overall game. And then it breaks down from there to like you know, number one fun, number one innovation, so on. Um, yeah, and there's there's also certain games that just don't, like, humor or audio doesn't apply. Which is why you can opt out. So, like, if your game just doesn't have audio at all, you can opt out. If you didn't put much effort into your graphics... Like if your user interface is just um, just text, if your if your interface is just text and it's just a text-based game, I you don't really apply for graphics if it's pure text, in my opinion. So that's why you can opt out. Those games are valid, but they just don't apply for graphics. But anyway. It, it depends on the game. So in our, overall, what did I give the other games? Like four, whatever. Four's fine. Four's fine. It's good. Four is a good rating. It's. I hate to do the ranking thing. Of like the three games I played and I spent way too much time on all three of these I was hoping to get all these games done by um, the end of the stream but it's it's almost actually it is pretty much midnight now uh, I'll keep going for a little bit longer maybe do one more game his pixel painterly style yeah he kind of has that Stream two electric boogaloo. That'll happen. I'm I'm gonna keep going. I've gotta rate things and put myself out there so people will play my crappy game that we made and I totally forgot to make a command to for all the people lurking. I'm sure there are lurkers. You know who you are. It's fine. I, I love my lurkers as much as my... So I can't say that. I love my lurkers. We can stop there. Uh, I felt pretty bad for the player character. Seems like he's lost hope. I tried to make things better by picking as many positive options as I could, though I'm not sure how much of a difference it made. That's the thing. And that's where, that's where what I consider to be the personal aspect comes into this, because you, it's like, so like this is a, this is kind of like I can say, I can say, oh, it's, it's up to player interpretation of like how, how, like how much he's lost hope, how much his life is just an absolute wreck. And it does all this with the subtlety of a jackhammer, but for a uh, for a game made in three days, that's fair. 
but that's also kind of the intention, and it just goes straight for that and hits you with it. Of like, here's this character, here's some characters that tell you about his life, assumingly, and how would how do you deal with this? Because you can actually just do how would I personally deal with this, or you can do how do you think Smoke should deal with this. Uh, you can also just do I don't want to deal with this and just go home and drink beer. All of them are valid. And that's that is the way in which this game is personal, quote unquote. So yeah, good to game.